Whoa. Alrighty, oh, just got a little intro. I am in SCP-087-B, little, uh, you know, little standalone thing. If you haven't heard of SCP, I suggest looking it up. It has some pretty good stories. Wow, the controls are very sensitive. But yeah, it has some good stories, uh, interesting ideas. Definitely good for indie games like this. Down and down we go. Where we stop, no one knows. Two. Um. This way, I guess? Nope. Um. I saw a little creepy eyes. Okay. Ooh, big room. Why do I have to be. Okay, not so big. <laughs> Alright, continuing on. I can't remember the exact details of... I'm going up? No, no, I'm supposed to be going down. Always down. How do I get turned around? <laughs> okay, here we go. Cool, going on. As I was saying, I can't remember all the details of SCP number 08... 087B. Uh, pretty much it's this tunnel that you keep going down and down and down, and it's supposed to get continually scarier and scarier. Yeah, the SCP program has so many freaking nightmare creatures, it's difficult to count. You've probably heard of the game SCP Containment Breached, all based on one freaking story. <laughs> the SCP Foundation. And, like I said, this is super sensitive. I don't remember six. Have, have I been talking that long? I don't know. Anyway. Um. No? Don't come near me? Don't come near me? Uh. Floor 8. Um, hopefully I'm going the right way. I hope. I don't know. This will probably be a very short video. I will most likely die a very, very horrible death. Yeah. A very horrible death. Yes. Alright. Like I said, very sensitive controls. If I see 8 coming up ahead, I'm gonna be very angry. Yeah, I got turned around here. I was going this way! Yeah, very sensitive controls. I will get flipped around very easily if I shake my mouse too much. Alright, so little movements. I am not used to the little movements. <laughs> I didn't see an option to change it, however, it just threw me straight into the game. Floor 9, a railing. What's on the other side of the railing? Aside from a big dark room, I will stick to the wall. The wall is my friend. The wall is my friend. A door. Going down again. Floor 10. How deep does this go? I don't even know. Something's breathing. Is that me? Or something else? Floor 11. Uh... So far, scares-wise, this has been kind of disappointing. Twelve... I hear footsteps, I think? Floor 13... Uh, yeah, no jump scares, really. Just going down and down and down and down. 
14. Come on, bring on the scares. Um, people? With nothing inside. I see nothing in the people. Not even sexy goyles. Floor 15! Come on, when shit's supposed to start happening? Bring it! Bring it! Scare the pants off of me, why don't ya? How the ladies would probably like that. Cha-ching! Uh, I'll go this way. Going down. Floor 17. Nothing to report. <laughs> okay, finally a jump scare. Finally! <laughs> and that was a good one. I mean, timed just enough to where I wasn't expecting anything, and it just boom. Alright, wonder what else it's gonna do. Floor 18. About time, too. And still nothing in the peepholes. They put them here, but they don't... Cheshire Cat? Hello? Hello? Smile.jpg? Floor 19. Continuing on. Floor 20, and I heard another grump. <laughs> okay. Anytime now. I feel like I'm going in circles. Watch, they're gonna have a peephole, and they're gonna have something try to grab ya. 21. Floor 21. Only two things to report. So nothing much. And man, I can barely hear it. Let's turn it up a little. Okay, a little bit louder. Floor 22. Okay, what the heck was that? Huh. Okay. I die and it just shuts down. Okay, whatever. Huh. Oh, that was interesting. Well, anywho, I guess that's the end of that one. Good night, everybody. Alright, so that was SCP-087-B. Uh, plan on playing some more of the SCP games later. If you don't know what it is, I'm going to post a link down below. Uh, check it out. It's interesting source for a lot of very scary stuff. Uh, and it's all, you know, Creative Commons open, so you can create stuff from it. I know some people have some YouTube channels where they have done... Uh, you know, spoken renditions of some of the stories. It's interesting stuff, great stories, and I look forward to playing some more of the games. They have some good stuff to base on. All right, well, everyone, have a good night.